Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers video. Now I'm hoping Shadow Play has been fixed from the last patch that came out a few hours ago, so let's have a go and see if it messes up like last time. But this video is about something very, very awesome which I found on the workshop, and that is the Aegis Tank. Now this is a very, very interesting piece of equipment, so to speak. You have these little floaty things right here. This. It's your reticle when you're aiming the turret. That little floaty thing right there is where you're going to aim and that's where the missiles are going to go. This thing is a little front bumper so you know how close the end of your little snozzle is against any objects. Now this tank is very small and it took me a long time to work out how to control it. So around the back here we have a little entrance thing into the tank. If we hop in there we'll be in this little tiny cockpit and then if we Activate one of the cameras, we can see we can now control the turrets. We can now get a side turret view. And then if I go into this tab, we can get a back view, which is kind of useless, but I suppose in multiplayer it wouldn't. So what is this tank actually like? Well, this isn't created, so I have unlimited ammo. So I can just fire it constantly there. You've seen the nice little reticle. I'm just blowing up this base like it's nothing. It's all very nice. As for the actual movement, if I switch cameras to this, actually if I come out and go third person, this will give you a better view of the tank. So here we go, I can control the tank up and down, move the turret all around. That sounded like a song, but it's cool. It doesn't exactly aim where it's going in um, third person. But yeah, it's very nice and it can move. It is a little bit wild on the old turning thing as you saw massive loads of sparks coming out. It is drifting around. Like crazy, let's just go into the camera view. This one's my favourite. And you can see I had a few, uh oh, had a few small little failed attempts there. As I was trying to work out how to control it, I thought I had to use a remote control, which is why I built this bloody great thing. Like that, come on, blow up, there we go. And I had another one just around there, which when I spawned, flipped over, which seems to be a common problem with this tank. Now, it wouldn't be a mod video now, would it, if I didn't try and crash this damn thing? So off we go on our merry adventure. And see, it's quite nice, this tank. This little front bumper you see here is basically so you don't get turned around as well. So I know I'm going forwards, because this is always facing forwards. Yeah, there are a few other things on this tank, like a machine gun that you can see to the left of the screen, but I'm unsure how to actually fire that. And every now and again, I don't know whether this is a bug or not, but I seem to get more missiles than the four shooting out the front. It's a little bit weird. Yeah, this tank is a lot of fun. I will say it's a hell of a lot of fun if you have enemies to fight, or if you have another player who's also driving a tank. Oh, little freeze there. Please don't mess up shadow play. Uh oh, we're drifting. Oh, oh god, oh god, come on, we can do this. Yeah, like I said, it's very easy to flip these tanks, unfortunately. If you turn too quickly, it's just going to flip. Apparently, I can still drive while upside down. Let's just blow this up a bit more, make a hole. Right, let's see what damage we did. So the tank itself, for going down half a cliff, is still in reasonable condition. The front is gone, unfortunately. Most of the tyres have gone, but I think that went with the little explosion at the start of the base. Yeah, it's a pretty solid tank. Now you see the little um, front bumper there for your aiming. Still there, being all fancy. Apparently I was driving backwards as well. That's fairly interesting. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy this mod. This is more for testing Shadowplay to make sure it's all working so I can go back to normal. Yeah, it was a lot of fun to use. I have been using this quite a lot off, off camera, basically. It is quite funny to blow up some enemies with it. But yeah, it's in the description if you want to download it yourself. I'll be back with another video fairly soon. Bye bye.